How the Philippine Army's Armor Division is strengthening its fleet, it's time to introduce a bold new addition to their ranks. Nine Ascod, two Sabra light tanks, a single Ascod 2 command vehicle, five Gorani 6X6 armored personnel carriers, and one tractor head truck have recently been received from the Israeli defense company, Elbit Systems. Each vehicle plays a crucial role in enhancing the capabilities of the armor division. Whether it's the formidable power of the light tanks or the strategic advantage of the command vehicle, these additions are set to redefine the landscape of the armor division's operations. These vehicles are not just machines, but a testament to the Philippine Army's commitment to modernization and readiness. Now how did these cutting-edge vehicles make their way to the Philippine Army's armor division? Well, it all began with the light tank and wheeled APC acquisition projects. These initiatives are part of a grand design known as the Horizon 2 Priority Phase of the revised AFP Modernization Program. The goal? To bolster the Philippine Army's capabilities by adding advanced equipment to their arsenal. The acquisition process is a meticulous journey. It begins with a careful selection process, where the Army assesses a range of options to find the perfect fit for their unique needs. This isn't simply about picking the most powerful or the most advanced. It's about finding the right balance between power, versatility, and cost-effectiveness. Next comes the negotiation phase, where the army works closely with the supplier, in this case the Israeli defense company Elbit Systems. Together, they agree on the terms of the delivery, ensuring that every detail from the quantity to the delivery schedule aligns with the army's operational requirements. Then, there's the delivery and induction process. This is where the vehicles are formally received and inducted into the armor division. It's a moment of great pride and anticipation, as the army welcomes these new additions to their fleet. Securing these vehicles was not a simple task, but the result is a stronger and more capable armor division. But what does this mean for the Philippine army as a whole? Well, the arrival of these new armored vehicles is a significant step forward in the Philippine army's ongoing modernization efforts. Each Ascod 2 Sabra light tank, Gorani 6X6 armored personnel carrier, and the Ascod 2 command vehicle, not to mention the tractor head truck, represents a tangible boost to the Army's capabilities. These additions are not just about firepower or mobility, they represent a renewed readiness to respond to a variety of threats and challenges. This is about safeguarding the nation's security, about ensuring that the Philippine Army can rise to whatever challenge comes its way, but more than that, these new vehicles underscore the Army's commitment to modernization. They are part of the Horizon 2 priority phase of the revised AFP modernization program, a clear signal that the Philippine Army is not just keeping pace with the times but actively striving to stay ahead. With these new additions, the Philippine Army's armor division is better equipped than ever to fulfill its mission. Stay tuned for more updates on the continuing evolution of the Philippine Army.